Welcome to Model Horse Tax School. My name is Carrie, and today we're gonna do we're working on polo pony uh, equipment tack, and so we're gonna do the uh, breast strap. Uh, this here is from performance-polo.com. So this is official polo pony tack. I like it because it's really very simple. It's got two buckles, and then it's got the two straps. So it's actually four straps, but um, very simple. Um, design okay so what we're gonna need is two different widths of leather lace and I've skived myself some 332nd and some 1 16th um, now there are there's stitching here so if you wanted to use a tooling leather and then use your pounce wheel and put in your stitching that's fine you can do that it is so subtle you barely see it in the picture I don't think you'd see it uh, at this scale in real life, but hey, that's what we're doing. So um, basically, your buckle is going to be in the front, and um, this is um, Smarty Jones Polo Pony Edition, right? Um, and uh, if you see, it wraps around the girth, so you need a loop there. Um, and then you need same thing on the other side and then this can either be in a slit inside this strap can either be in a slit inside this strap um, or it could be wrapped around now I like the wrap around because then I can put it where I want it um, depending upon the model because it doesn't have to go on a running polo pony or just want a standing one that's fine um, you know so that's pretty much what we're gonna do. And that means we need to um, measure. We need a little tab uh, here to glue. And then uh, we want to, uh, in front here, this strap, I mean, you pick which strap you want, but this is the one that's gonna wrap around. And so I want it to go um, to this other chest so right about there okay that'll be extra and the reason why I teach you this way is because let's say you're doing a different scale let's say you're doing the um, the act the polo pony the bear polo pony and this is smarty Jones not the polo pony um, you would need um, it would be different dimensions right and then you wanted to scale it down to the little bits or even stable mate you then know how to measure it based on the model. And that's why I do it that way. All right, so let's go ahead and figure out how big that strap needs to be in order to slip it on. No buckle required. And then we're just gonna do right here, this last little uh, 16th or so of an inch. And squeeze that. Stand up, baby. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and um, give myself a, um, a pointed tip. And then I'm gonna do this other side. Pretty much the same thing, only I want the buckle to end up in the center of the chest, unlike this one, which did not. Um, but it doesn't matter buckle will end up wherever it ends up because of the um, so center of the chest and then I want to give it uh, some fold over so I'm going to give it that much and I'll go ahead and put a buckle on this end so the English Saddle, the link for that is in the description, and I have a playlist uh, on my channel for Polo Pony, um, and it includes things that I, I won't really go over here, which is like the um, leg wraps, you know, I'm not going to go over leg wraps, I've done those before, um, or any of the other English style boots. Now, um, this uh, little doohickey here is optional it's just an oval um, and then the um, the buckle is held down here 
so that the uh, strap comes up through a slit and then comes on the outside and that just keeps metal off of the uh, animal. So for that, um, I have scraps. And these were scraps from making the English saddle. I didn't use these pieces, they're, they're extra. Um, so it would be, we can um, sketch it. You know, here's the width of your buckle and everything. Um, this is a skiver, might be better to use a um, uh, tooling leather and I should probably put this on the wrong side <laughs> so we don't have the pen marks so basically we're just gonna you know something this way and then it had it like this way and then we'll want to make it a little bit smaller so straight lines like that really early and the reason why the doves are singing because I have lights on Something like that. This is a little broad here. So, like that. Okay, once you have that piece cut out, um, we're just going to glue it onto the back uh, because at this scale, doing what they're doing there, it needs to be bigger. Um, I'm just going to glue it on the back here. And so that should look like this. And now we can buckle. There we go, and then it's got uh, two keepers. Let's see, we're supposed to make sure we glued that one over. Now you don't want these to be too big. And I think that was too big. Okay, and this is just um, scrap leather lace because I have a ton of scrap leather lace. Just little itty bitty pieces. And this is going to be a fixed keeper. There it is. And then on this side. You can make this a sliding keeper if you want, uh, but since I'm making it exactly to his size, I'm just, I'm just gonna make it fixed.
Okay, so placement of the um, shoulder straps. And this is a 1 16th leather lace. And it's, it's easier to adjust for different models if you do it this way, okay? Just do a loop and then it will move. Um, but uh, this shows it's in a slit halfway through. So we'd have to figure out where to put that slit and we measure it to the model. And so, you know, horses have different necks and this is gonna sit differently depending upon the model. So we could do um, make a small mark. Yeah, no, he's already got one. And then we're going to very carefully, in the middle of the lace, make a hole where that mark is. Okay. And I need to make a hole that's big enough, um, or long enough, for that to go through. And... Use an owl to make that hole bigger. Mm. Slip that through. And, um, Well, that's opposite the plans. Let's, let's turn this around. And then just And so, yeah, I know I got it on, it's wrong. I mean, it's the right side, it's, it'll work. <laughs> it's gonna be in the same place on both sides. So uh, that's gonna be my buckle side. So I'm gonna go ahead and trim that right about here. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and, um, I would try and get these exactly the same over here, those ends, and then go ahead and make my other slit. Right there. And then put my all in there, open it up, make sure it comes out the top. Just enough so it sticks to itself. Yeah, you don't want to over make this hole here, this slit. There we go. And then we're going to over the model again. And this time we're going to cut this so it's Uh, right about there you can see that so you want it you're going to buckle and then you want extra for that buckle hope I have it 
messed you guys up by having that other one there. That's called being too lazy to untack that horse. <laughs> okay. Um, so the longer side you want to point on there, and then the shorter side we want to buckle. I use real Rondo buckles. I'm not sponsored by them in any way. I just, I can get like everything I need in one place. Um, if I'm looking for something specific, there's other, um, there's uh, the World of Modern Horse Collecting on eBay. There's Soul Source Saddlery, if she's still around. Um, there's other places, but I, uh, I can get, you know, in bulk what I need and all right I will buckle this and then we need a keeper There's a scrap piece of 1 16th. You don't have to use scrap, it's what I use because it's how I make the most out of this hobby. It can be an expensive hobby, we all know that. But by doing something as simple as using like as much of my, not wasting materials, basically, um, just makes it a little bit better but it's easier to tack up if you keep it on your billets. So then you can just slip this over the, the horse's head through here, and then um, go ahead and tack it up. So that is your breast strap. Okay, so thank you for spending time with me today. Like, subscribe, tell your friends about the channel, and have yourself a really good day.